Hello, in this video, I will be showing you how to use the cylinder target option of Vuforia Engine to create an app that can scan a cylinder to see objects in augmented reality. In our previous videos, we discussed how to configure Vuforia Engine with Unity and how to import Vuforia Engine license keys to Unity. So, if you have not watched those videos, you can click on the links in the description box to watch them. Now, let's begin the Cylinder Target tutorial. You should first create a new scene and then delete the main camera. I have already added the Vuforia Engine SDK here. You should go to the Vuforia Engine drop-down list and add the AR camera game object. I will then go to Vuforia Engine again and add the Cylinder Target Game object as well. After that, I will open the developer.vuforia.com website and go to the Target Manager page. I will add a database here. The type of the database that I will be adding is a device database. I will select the device option here and name the database. I will type in the name Cylinder Test Target and click Create. I will go to the Cylinder Test Target and add a target like this. I will select Cylinder as the type. Here we have to enter the bottom diameter of the cylinder we want to create. We have to provide the measurement in meters here. I want the cylinder to be about 7.5 centimeters in diameter, so I will add it here as 0 0.075. The top diameter will also be the same. The side length is the height that we require. I will add it here as 0 0.27 meters, which is 27 centimeters. I will enter the name as test cylinder here and click add. We can see that although the target has been created, the status is shown as incomplete. When we click Test Cylinder and enter this page, we can see that a cylinder has been created according to the dimensions that we provided. We can upload images to be used as the sides, the top and the bottom. I will add an image to be used on the side. You must remember that the image must match up with the aspect ratio of the cylinder as well. You can download an image from Google and use an image editing software such as Photoshop to edit it to the necessary aspect ratio. I will select the image I want and then click Upload. You can see a preview of the image I selected which has been wrapped around the cylinder. I will now download this database. When downloading, I make sure that I select Unity Editor under the Select a Development Platform options. I will then import the Unity package that I downloaded. Next, I will select Cylinder Target here and select Cylinder Test Target which we imported as the database under the Cylinder Target Behavior script. After selecting it, 
you will see that cylinder in the scene. You can even see the image that we wrapped around the cylinder. When this cylinder is scanned, we need to have objects to be seen in augmented reality. I will create those objects now. We must make sure to create them as child objects under the cylinder target object here. I have a low poly asset pack which I downloaded earlier. I will place a few of those objects around the cylinder. After inserting these 3D objects, I will add them as child objects under cylinder target. Let's convert this into an Android build. I will go to File and then Build Settings to see which platforms have been installed on Unity Editor. To build it in Android, you should select Android here and switch the platform to build your project on it. Next, you should come to Player Settings where you have to edit a few of the settings. The scripting backend under Configuration should be changed to IL2CPP. The target architecture should be ARM64. The minimum API level here should be Android 8.0. There is no issue with the target API level being automatic. I will select the scene that is currently open under Scenes in Build and build an APK. I have taken a printout of the image that we used on the cylinder and pasted it on a cylinder. I also installed the APK that I built onto my phone. When I aim the camera at the cylinder, the 3D objects that we added are auto-generated on top of it in augmented reality. This is our final output. Thank you so much for watching the video. We're so glad that you joined us on the Render Island channel today. We're always creating new content for Unity developers, so please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.